Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Iyap Halap, back again with another video. Today's project, we've got a Mustang in the shop that we will be spraying satin white. Now what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be laying a gray base coat down. We're gonna be then spraying uh, the white. And in our last gallon of white, we're gonna mix up a pearl called Himalayan white. And what this is gonna do is, that's gonna give it the satin finish really, that pearl satin finish on the vehicle. So that's gonna be our last couple coats we're gonna be laying with that pearl. Now this Mustang has been in the shop before. I did the wheels pure gold alloy, I'd say about two years ago, and they're still looking mighty fine, guys. I uh, do have a video on the pure gold alloy if you guys wanna check that out. It is a popular color, popular wheel color. Lots of people love it. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's get right to it. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Let's get started. is clean uh, what I use is soap and water first go over the whole vehicle focus panel by panel and then I will go over it again with some rubbing alcohol mixed in with some water again panel by panel wipe it all down and the rubbing alcohol will kill any waxes uh, contaminants grease anything that's on the surface of the vehicle and that is key guys because if you go ahead and spray uh, you're gonna get lifting and bubbling and it's gonna be a, a pain in the ass in the long run so make sure it's bone dry um, you got every little piece of dirt off the vehicle and then mask it up and you're good to go what I'll be using for product is strictly Plasti Dip. We're gonna be working with the Performance Series Anthracite Gray. We're gonna be using this as a base coat. And, uh, and then we're gonna go in and spray our white over the Anthracite Gray. The reason we do that is because you get better coverage and you guys will see that once I lay my first coat of white over the gray. Uh, you guys are gonna see some great amount of coverage. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to just you know start spraying white you're gonna end up you know going like six coats and you still won't get proper coverage so for this is uh, we're doing a white body the gold wheels are staying and then we're doing gloss black accents so he's got gloss black hood vents gloss black side mirrors uh, the gloss black spoiler and then the gloss black roof as well and then he's got the gloss black emblems on the side that say 5.0 
Once you got about four or five coats down of the anthracite gray and it's all dried up, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're ready to spray the white, so make sure you give it a good shake, pour it up in the hopper. Um, when I switch colors, what I do is I'll clean my gun before I switch over to my next color. That way I know that all the old color is out, out of that gun and it's also clean so I know it'll, split, it'll spray good. So make sure you clean your gun before you uh, switch over to another color. And like I told you guys, with your first coat of white, you will see a great amount of coverage. It's so satisfying to watch guys just seeing it turn gray to white within, you know, the first coat is just awesome. So just keep layering it on guys. What I do is I do about four or five coats of white. That way I know that I'll get solid coverage and uh, solid durability protection on the whole vehicle as well. Now in the last gallon of white, what we're gonna do to give it a nice pearl satin finish is we're gonna mix up this bad boy right here. Himalayan White Pearl by KP Pigments. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put 50 grams, uh, each bag is 25 grams, so 50 grams in one gallon of white. Give it a good shake, stir it up. Uh, if you have a paint stirrer, I don't, I didn't have one at the time, but I just gave it a good shake and then just go over the vehicle, same way you were spraying the white, same way you were spraying the gray pretty much. And then on the last coat, what you wanna do is peel any tape that is close to the edge because if it dries up and then you go and peel that tape after, it's gonna bond with the body of the vehicle and it's gonna peel that off the door or wherever you're peeling at the time. So make sure peel while wet, that way you won't have any lifting or any issues with the dip. And remember guys, for your last couple coats, make sure you spray pretty heavy and overlap the coats as well pretty good. I'd say even do like a 75% overlap Usually I do a 50-50 overlap, but if you overlap them and spray nice solid coats and it's all drying in one sheet, then you know you sprayed it well and you know it's gonna dry up nice and it's gonna look awesome. So once you do that guys, once you're done spraying, step back. What I do is wait 24 hours. You could probably wait less, but I wait 24 hours to be on the safe side and then start unmasking the vehicle, my favorite part. So there it is guys, look at this thing, it is beautiful. The gold rims, the white body, the black accents, it just looks killer. Woo wee! Beautiful. I love this thing guys, it is my favorite color combo with the gold wheels, the white body, the black accents. Oh my god, I love it. Give it a thumbs up guys if you guys love this color on this vehicle. You love those gold wheels, just looking beautiful i love it so guys that's it that's the video i hope you guys like it comment down below what you think um tap that bell to get notified about all my new videos bunch of new projects coming soon guys i want to say thank you guys everyone who's been watching my videos who's been supporting me thank you for 2000 subscribers stay tuned for more peace